Welcome to F260 Week 10, Numbers 11 and 12, which is entitled, Having the Mind of Christ. Highlight verse, Numbers 12, 6. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. <clears throat> Highlight verse, that's the highlight verse. Explaining it, uh, meekness is defined as modesty and humility. Since Moses is the author of the Pentateuch and Numbers is one of its five books, was he being modest in saying this about himself? I'm glad you asked. Um, applying this, um, Bible commentaries tell us that Moses was not being immodest because he was not, it was not he who wrote this. It was a post-Mosaic edition written by Joshua. Joshua twenty four twenty six says, And Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. This is a clear reference to the five books of the law written by Moses. Does this cast doubt on the scriptural inerrancy of Moses' writings? I'm glad you asked again. This does not indicate uh, inerrancy because Joshua was an inspired writer in his own right. This statement on Moses' humility written by Joshua was to account for Moses taking no notice of Aaron's and Miriam's angry, angry reproaches of him and for God interposing so speedily for his servant's cause and then taking them to task for it when Aaron and Miriam questioned Moses' authority to speak for God. The Bible has much to say about the virtue of humility, and more I to recount it, count it, it would be a book in itself. So I will just cite one passage in which our Lord himself gives us a perfect example of the meaning of humility. This is in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11, the ERV version. In your life together, think the way Christ Jesus thought. He was like God in every way, but he did not think that his being equal with God was something to use for his own benefit. Instead, he gave up everything, even his place with God. He accepted the role of a servant appearing in human form. During his life as a man, he humbled himself by being fully obedient to God, even when that caused his death, death on a cross. So God raised him up to the most important place and gave him the name that is greater than any other name. God did this so that every person will bow down to honor the name of Jesus. Everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth will bow. They will all confess Jesus Christ is Lord. And this will bring glory to God the Father. <clears throat> My response, uh, certainly this should inspire me to be humble and honor others more than myself and not be interested only in my own life, but care about the lives of others also. Amen. God bless.